Hi, my name is Bill Schaefer, and today we have a book review of The World Inside by Robert Silverberg. This science fiction novel was published in 1971 and is set in the year 2361. I read it in junior high school and I got it from the public library. But the book is pretty liberal and it's filled with the free love fantasies of the late 60s set in a future dystopia of a giant city all in one enormous like apartment block a mile on a side or 10 miles tall and 10 miles on the side this is the world inside at the time i'd never read science fiction quite like it and it was very inspiring to me and it stuck with me for a long time recently i reread the book and enjoyed it and remembered one of the things I really liked about it was one of the protagonists, Dylan, is a musician. And he plays this futuristic musical instrument in a futuristic band. And the musical instruments make sounds and noises and have visual components to the sounds and noises. It's unlike anything we experience in today's music or video, but a little bit are starting to conceive of it. But back in the 1970s when this book was published, that was just such a fantastic and inspiring vision of what music of the future would be like. It always stuck with me and I'm sure subtly influenced my music writing and the choices of music that I listen to. The book is relatively short, it's easily read, and is a fascinating condensed view of what the future might be like. The way the author describes the different communities, it's kind of a different version of a brave new world. But Robert Silverberg's version is much more contemporary than Aldous Huxley's is. The book has this typical conflict between the needs and the vision of the society and the renegade person who's unhappy goes his own way. I won't spoil it for you, but it's a fascinating read, a fascinating description of the future, what might be, and I especially enjoyed the way the author describes the art and the music of the future. Therefore, if you like science fiction, you like visions of the future, read The World Inside by Robert Silverberg. I highly recommend it. Thank you, and leave your comments below.